What is going on, you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today we're going to do just a, just a quick little hobby talk video, something that's kind of been on my mind. I just kind of want to let the dust settle and see what kind of happens. Um, now, before we get into that situation, I want to talk about, I want to give a shout out to the channel of Beer Cards 34 Brian over there on his channel. Brian has been an amazing supporter of my channel for quite a bit of time now. I've never given this channel a shout out, so I'd love to give his channel a shout out. On his channel, you're going to see quite a bit of football. Obviously, with Bear Cards 34, Walter Payton. And, uh, but he does tap into some baseball every so often. But uh, nonetheless, just an amazing supporter to my channel and many, many others out there. I see him always comment on uh, Zach Porter's channel. So, uh, yeah, please go check out Brian over at Bear Cards 34. Link to his channel in my description. Now... Something that's been on kind of my mind for a while is uh, the Hamlin. I, as I say, his first name, Demar Hamlin. So, yeah, I'm, I was pretty unfamiliar with him. And a little bit, what you guys should know is some of you guys know this, some of you guys don't. I follow the NFL quite a bit and college football. I don't collect the cards. I feel like that's a whole nother rabbit hole I just don't want to go down to. Um, I do have some, a little bit of football, a little bit of hockey, uh, a pinch of basketball. I do have a little bit of every sport, even NASCAR, but, uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of my collection is baseball from obviously, you know, anything really in baseball related. As you guys know, primary focus is fifties to today. And, um, so yeah, uh, you know, I do know. I do know some quite a bit of football, but with the Hamlin situation, I just want to say, uh, you know, it's uh, I went through something really similar to what happened on that football field. Not me personally, but okay. So when I was in when I was in high school, um, I played for a school in the Omaha metropolitan area called uh, Miller West. Miller's a suburb of Omaha. Um, they have three high schools. I believe they might be going to fourth here soon. I'm not too sure. I'm not really, I'm not in the Omaha area much anymore. So I don't pay attention to what's going on with their, with the schools out there as much as I used to. But uh, anyway, long story short, um, it was my junior year of high school playing for Miller West. I mostly played defensive end, defensive tackle, kind of flipped in between there. And, uh, when we were playing a team called Omaha North and when Omaha North was on defense, our running back had the ball and, um, you know, just an average running play. And when the Omaha North defender made the tackle, they say the, uh, our running backs helmet hit the kid's chest and the kid did not survive and he ended up passing away. And, we, uh, you know, I remember everything about it crystal clear. The helicopter were coming in, them trying to revive him on the field. <sighs> Man, it's something, it's something you don't forget. And I have it as clear as day in my head as, you know, 9 11, my wedding day. It's something that I will never forget what happened. Now, we did end up finish playing the game, mostly because, you know, when I was a junior in high school, that would have been near 2000. You know, it's uh, cell phones weren't a big thing back then. You know, only rich people had it. And it was, it was like the old, uh, you know, not even a flip phone. It was even before that time. So, um, you know, I think they called them Nokias. <laughs> that was kind of the popular things back then. Um, so, you know, cell phones weren't really a thing. And the kid died on the football field. We didn't know it until after the game. And we actually had, I think, three kids quit the team after that happened and um, just an unfortunate situation. But yeah, it's something that you'll always remember now. What I want to talk about with the Hamlin is I feel the NFL did everything right with this. You know, I hear people saying it's staged, it's rigged. How can this be? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, we're human beings first. And I know the NFL has a lot of politics and they, they promote what they want. I don't agree with that stuff. But what they did was class act and it was the right thing to do for a human being. And, uh, you know, what happened on their turf, their field. So I feel like the NFL did everything right in that situation. 
Um, it's something that you'll never forget as a player because, like I said, I witnessed it firsthand, but I witnessed the death and not, um, you know, fortunately they were able to revive Hamlin. Um, you know, like I said, we're human beings first before we're football players and all that kind of stuff, baseball players, hockey players, basketball players, warehouse workers, um, accountants, lawyers, we are human beings before any type of job title. So thumbs up to the NFL for doing that. Uh, yeah, that's all I kind of really wanted to say. And, you know, I'll, I'll put a, I'm going to try to find an article and I'm going to try to put that link in my description as uh, to go with the uh, Bear Cards 34's channel, but please go check out Bear Cards 34 channel. Nothing but an awesome guy and supporter to me and a lot of other channels out there. Just kind of want to get that off my chest. So appreciate you guys watching. Take care and stay safe.